So this is all part of the uh, Downwind Faster Than The Wind project. Um, however, I won't be racing across the ground. What I'm working on is the theory. One flank can drive the other. Uh, it's all obviously prototype stuff, but from the core of the one motor, actually I've got the brushes. Well, they um, so you can act as a gear, indeed, for a pulley. This belt is too long, I might not even use it, but I've just got it for now because it's flexible and lots of it. But uh, obviously the belt of that will go around here, the uh, shiny bit, and drive the fan. <coughs> this one will be the one turning the fastest, as it's got the most blades on it, and uh, it's low torque as it was. You can just drive it pretty fast with a minimal effort, so that's why I'll put it. This one is the highest ratio. Uh, this one will be the, the slower moving one. Obviously the bigger blades, which capture the air, the air blown from this one. But in turn, in a way, hopefully, I don't know if it actually work or not. Um, I just have a gear on. Well, this, this is the hub for this one. Uh, that would be stuck on there. But from the, the gap down this side here, um, I'll be driving a pulley, which will actually go out to this. Now, this is the core of a, a was it an AC motor? Or, well, it goes DC power goes in, or it's a universal motor anyway, but there, this is the core of one of the other motors that I had. <coughs> but this in itself, I'm going to actually use as the gears. Um, this one here of that size, you know, that, dimensions is going to be going around to this one here which is smaller so this will turn faster the larger diameter one which is the actual the motor itself the motor hub that will turn at whatever rate it will and that in itself will go to the smaller one on here again joined by a belt meaning that you know for one revolution here through the pulley this one will do about six or seven I mean, ideally, I'd run about one to about ninety, you know, maybe. But as a as a basic test bed, I mean, I'm improvising here. This uh, this base here is a uh, part of a sound system for uh, an amplifier. But it just so happens that this fits within reasonable size along the side. So if I was to put a a top cover over to make a, a scoop or indeed a duct. It's easy to do, and I mean, it's relatively simple to make these pieces where they simply sit in. Got lay frames, so it's relatively stable for vibration. Um, I'll be sticking it in so it doesn't go back and forth as it was. Uh, this is a hub for this one here. Um, yeah, this one's got bearings, which are press fitted. This one here is um, a brass bearing, so I need the, the metal hub to go on you ah. that's important yeah this is a brass hub there's no bearing it's just uh well re uh, low friction but i don't want to lose his pieces uh due to some work it grips slightly one second um, uh, yeah don't lose them bits but yeah this hub here um, I cracked off the, the parts for where the wires come out and the, the brushes connect to it. Uh, for them, I'll be just running screws back through to this plate here, uh, which this one will sit behind it, you know, around here. And that plate will screw straight onto there. Um, I'm hoping I've got it all at the right heights to match everything up. But yeah, this is sort of as weird as that is. Whatever I can think of or get my hands on uh, to build this. It's a simple idea, but again, some of the simplest ideas are either the best or just fun. You know, just uh, fun to do. Uh, yeah, I just want to cover that as a an example of the overall project. Or the, the concept, anyway. Right, and uh, see you later. Hi again. It's been a, a little while later, and I've got the first well, uh, leading fan into position. 
that was the the back stock. Uh, I've got the stuck in the bearing stuck in. I've just put the A frame bracket in. Sorry about the camera. As you can see by the glue over there, my favourite tool. Um, I've decided to use these rubber bands instead of these. <coughs> excuse me. Instead of these pulleys because they are just too wide to get down those gaps and uh, they're quite stiff as well so I'd have to cut them and change them. Simplest fix is an elastic band which I've just spent a little bit of time getting in alignment. It moves quite fast. So let's see what does this do. One revolution. So I'll go by, there's a mark on the top here so I'll go by that. One turn equals a three quarter turn, I believe. Yeah. I oh, know, one, they are. One of these equals two of these. That's all right. Um, I don't know what this one to this hub is yet. Right now, I'm just getting that in place. I'm having some fun just sitting there spinning it. Simple as that. So uh, which way is that going? I want that to go this way towards me. Oh bugger, that band's moving. I think that's going to be a problem. That's going to come off in a second. So back over that side. Return that again. So I want it to turn this way. When I do so, the band moves. Oh, oh well, I'll just tweak it a bit. I can move these because they're stuck by uh, cable ties, so I can slide them up and down and this side to side so I can reduce that. But yeah, this is as far as I've got this now. It's not turned out too bad. All right, just uh, cover that. So yeah. Yeah, you can tell it's getting dark again. Um, it took a stupid amount of tweaking, but I've kind of finally got it together. <coughs> The, the glue down the bottom here is still drying at the, the leg, but generally it kind of works. As you can see, the just the gear ratio, this one being the largest of the lot, turning the smallest one. The front fan turns quicker, that's what the back one does. And, yep, that's elastic bands. But uh, this is what I've been sort of thinking, that obviously the air flowing from here, due to there being more blades and spinning faster, will push up on these ones, which I mean like in half a turn, front one turns a whole lot more. So I'm thinking at a certain speed, the, uh, the, the overall thrust of this one will be enough to be pushing back on the, the rear blade and which the rear blade would accelerate the front one faster, theoretically, but I doubt it. No, it's just uh, just one to try. So yeah, that is a, uh, uh, a AC motor uh, from. Let's see what was it from? It's from a vacuum. Uh, that's a, the core of an AC motor from a vacuum. Uh, these elastic bands. The band goes to the stator of this. These are motorbike radiator fans, which might actually make mm, mild, mildish wind turbines, decent ones. And this beautiful blade here is actually the core, one of these, just that that thin. That's the actual core of um, <clears throat> the motor in a, a radiator fan. I just think that's a lot of torque. It's turning one of these fast enough to keep an engine cool, but yet that's all it is. And that's, that's the blades. Literally that is the coils right there. And uh, that's where the, the darker bit has got a sponge across it. That's where the stators are uh, connected because they were brushed D, uh, DC motors. But yeah, they could also be used maybe as small wind turbines as such. But yeah, this is the overall setup. No idea how it looks from the front until now. Yeah. I can see, like I can see a lot better than what the light is uh, showing here. That's as it 
Sega. Oh, no, I was turning it the wrong way. I have to turn it the one way only if I turn it the other way. The band's come off, which I think has... Uh, yeah, it's happened at the back. Okay, well, yeah, just showing up for a break, I think, again. Okay. Yeah.